Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. <gasps> TJ's here as well. All three of us are here. Yes. I'm gonna examine this woman. Oh no, she's gone. Know, yeah. Examine the camera. <laughs> Smile for the camera. <laughs> <laughs> God monitors the visitor to room. He doesn't move an inch. I will pro this guy. Oh, yeah. That's it. Love that for me. Yeah. Um, talk. Yeah. So I wanted to ask you. Yes? Will you go out with me? I'm 17! <laughs> <laughs> you can actually check now because if you go tab, you can see her age now. Oh, yeah, I can too. Yeah. yeah, she's, um. Yeah, she's yep. 17. Yep. <laughs> not not legal. So, <laughs> why are you crying? Are you laughing at the fact that she was bent over a sister's body crying? I just like the thing. It just says found bent over. Monster. Monster. <laughs> basically, um, basically to, to, catch, to catch you up, and this is for the people at home. Um, Maya, her, her sister's been killed, and we're just and people think she did it, but she did. So we're going to be defending her in court and. She's not the one that's dead. Yeah, she's the one who kills. She's also 17, you'd kill a kid. Yeah. Alright, well. Let's move Moving on. on. <laughs> What's okay. with that outfit? Ah, fuck, I forgot my left middle knuckle sucks as well. Fuck. <laughs> you take my knee, they're just inflamed for no reason. Anyway. Oh, this? It's my knuckle, it fucking sucks. <laughs> This is what all acolytes wear, it's my uniform, you could say. I'm part of a cult. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. Nothing strange in uh, training. No, nothing weird. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. I heard that. Death crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes, let's see. That morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. <laughs> How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, I feel like I'm gonna hate doing this voice for the rest of the game because he's gonna cause I'm gonna be a predominant character for this whole game. But anyway, oh my she said something about that. I remember. Do you wanna hear it in your own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it? Yeah. I forgot I forgot how to delete those things. Fair enough, I guess. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, uh, God. Alec, you numpty. Oh, right. Of course. Alec, you <laughs> fools. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> the conversation I have with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. Please give it back to the strange porcupine man. So you're an acolyte. Uh, His hair uh, looks uh, like a porcupine. Medium in training. That's right. The Fay family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Very sensitive. Like, one this one time, a cat passed away, and it meowed, and I heard it. <laughs> you can't joke about that shit. I know when people are gonna die. It's a real thing. Dude, we found TJ in game. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Where did you could pull off that cosplay, though? I was still 17 See? She can throw it off. <laughs> Lol. He's a pedophile now. So <laughs> she's retarded. Yes. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Possibly to say mentally disabled. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Wait a second, you said the Faye family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. <laughs> Hmm. Wait. What? 
So, you're a real honest-to-god spirit medium with ESP and all that. Yes, in training. Well, you can't training you very contact important. me as spirit then? We can just ask her to kill her. No, I'm sorry, I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. It's because it doesn't really exist. <laughs> oh no, you you wait till you keep playing this game, dude. <laughs> you you just wait a bit at that bucko. <laughs> it gets there. I thought that would be easy. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could ask him to represent me? <laughs> what if it's just me? Do I have it? No. No, it's not mine. <laughs> this guy named Phoenix Wright. Is it, is it just me? No, it's not. It's some, it is actually someone else. So should I repeat? I, don't think no, I think no matter what you say, it's the same fucking outcome. Because you have to talk to him anyway, because he gives, he gives you pretty important stuff anyway. Like, he's a pretty important character to this case, so... Oh, fine. Sure. Why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much! I have no one else to turn to. Bitch, yeah. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're like right there. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> run, run, you bitch. <laughs> so, what about your parents? Or the motherfucker right in front of your ass? <laughs> I, I see. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10 o'clock. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. Well, this guy refuses. They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. Right. When will that happen? They're giving me until four o'clock this afternoon. Hood forward's good sign. Where the hood? Where the hood? Where the hood? I'm busy in the hours on stop. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Grosbang! Can I give the voice to this guy? You can. It's not that guy, by the way. Oh, but the office tells me everything I need to know. I, okay, I'm not convinced. Okay, cool. I was gonna give. Him, I was gonna give him to you anyway. Big boss is out. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It's not really hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Or you could do them and everything. I reckon. Have a look at this photo of Bing Crosby. I don't know why that name popped into my head. I don't know why I'm thinking. Crocodile of... done fucking D. Yeah, I don't know why I'm thinking of Bing Crosby, but anyway. <laughs> the penny has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The whole paint is so thick, it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. <laughs> I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Bitch, shut up. <laughs> shut up, dog. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if I'm not mistaken, that light is made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here has got money to burn. And an expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. Yeah, maybe, um, I think, I think you can go back to the office, like your office, not the Crossbergs. Because you have to get, you have to get the phone off Gumshoe. Wouldn't it be at the detention center? No, because that's, you know, that, that's Maya. Why would he be at my office? Because it's, it's a crime scene. But this is my office. No, it's the... No, it's you and yours. Oh, go for Hey, myself. you there! This is a crime scene, pal! No trespassing! I'm um, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix, right. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? I don't know. Well, I guess I got the wrong name, <laughs> Mr. Right. Sorry about that. Okay. 
That bot guy, he was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... <laughs> Detective suede shoes. <laughs> suede shoes. <laughs> suede shoes. Suede shoes. Like my blue suede shoes. Yeah. That I shouldn't touch. Um, gumshoe, wasn't it? Dick gumshoe? Do you dick the gum in your shoe? Right, at your service. Got any shoe, got any gum on the bottom of your shoes? I'll dick it. I'm dicking down the gum in the shoe. My phone is just vibrating. Damn. Oh, it was. Shit. I'll be back. No worries. I'll let the people in. Insane the people. I will, yep, I will take over then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Behold, great quality gaming with Violet now. Right at your service. Hang on, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Why is this mouse so sensitive? And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Y yes, sir. Be right there. Um, <clears throat> you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Alright, uh, 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 my best hour compression. <gasps> he thinks I'm his lawyer. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, um, talk. Maya. Um, what about Maya? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? They said he's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Edgeworth? I'm sure you know that means you being a lawyer and all. Maybe at first. What about Miss Faye? Did you do an autopsy? Hmm. You wanna know the results, eh? Now don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report. But that's all. Autopsy report added to the court record. Nine eight, the time of death, nine the, the fifth of September at nine o'clock. Or single blunt force trauma. Instantaneous. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal, Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait, you do you do know him, don't you? I know him. He's a feared prosecutor. He doesn't feel pain, he doesn't feel remorse. He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Aw, oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty this pretty much decides the case. So Edgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became prosecutor at the incredible young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edgeworth hates crime with an enormous abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Alright, give me... Give me things I'm gonna present things to you, this. I was wondering, did you see Maya Faye's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you can give it back? Sure! I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Oh, he's on to me. Tell him not so straight. Okay, I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? Something the matter? Oh, no. Um, th that carrying strap on the cell phone. This? Hmm, it's the Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. The Steel Samurai? I actually hear on TV? Yeah, you see, that strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the precinct. Is that what she said? Um, yes. Okay, pal. I wrote down all the numbers she called anyway. Here you go. Seems you didn't notice you recorded the recorded conversation. Money cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. It's a possible question that I need to. You're done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influencing the witness with your loyally ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you sent her home already then? <laughs> you're trying to go 
loyally tricks on me now. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal! Unfair visitor, Miss May. That is true, that is what I can do. Except... We are going to go to Crossbag. No, we're not, because I know Alec wants to voice Crossbag. Let's give it to Maya. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> uh, can you imagine me doing solo gaming? That'd be that'd be a time, wouldn't it? What is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm, I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Well, yeah, okay, hold on. Wait. Hey, I got you your cell phone bag. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? There you go. Maya's eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. Alrighty. I just don't want to meet new. I just don't want to meet new characters. That without Alec, but he's not here. Um, you know what? We'll cut this video short. That's what we'll do. We'll cut. We'll cut the video short. Um, and we'll wait for them to get back. Yep. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we'll be continuing more. Uh, yep. See you guys later. Ah.